What's going on everyone? It's Alec Lehrman here coming to you from Los Angeles, California. And today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do a whole little behind the scenes of the recording from Johnny and Molly's Live in Los Angeles that's coming out September 24th. I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to be um, playing guitar on this hit. And I wanted to show you how I kind of processed that information from getting the call all the way to prepping the files to my pedal board and the setup and the amps and just walking you all the way through it so you get a good, good uh, kind of full picture of the whole thing. So I'm gonna start off with the logic file and how I organize my thoughts. So here we go, I'm gonna cut over to that. All right, so here we go, I'm gonna start off with how I organized it. It's all in logic right now. And at the time of this recording, um, I'm not sure that Miracle will be released um, but it, it's kind of inconsequential. I just want to show you my thought process and how I would organize a gig like this and prepping for the re live recording. So I'd take the files and I'd get the order, right? So the first file was this one. Then it was, you know, this, this. And I'll talk about this. Um, there's a long file over here. Uh, and then I'd um, organize it and I'd have my click going. Uh, and then I, and so I'd want to make sure the transitions were good, like the click, uh, the metronome would vary from song to song. And I'd want to make sure I have that um, in there. Just, it, it helps with how I feel the live recording and it would simulate the live feel a lot. You know, just having that click in your ear um, bump up from 90, I think 90, what is it? 95 to 98 and then 98 to 140 <clears throat> and so and then I'd have my guitar uh, with my line running right here and just like I used this uh, just I think it was a clean guitar this is a a guitar amp and cab simulator I really really like it especially for this kind of purpose um, practicing but I also have cut records with it so it's great and then I'd organize everything. And then this was prior to the first rehearsal. And then after the first rehearsal, I loaded in this recording of our rehearsal. And I, you know, I would just run it then and make sure things lined up and the orders were similar. If there was any hits or lines or any addition subtractions to the actual um, demo files themselves, I would just have them located in this little uh, this little wave file. So that's kind of how I'm organizing my logic session and how I'm practicing for the gig. Now I'm gonna cut over to my pedal board and my rig and show you exactly the pedals I used and exactly the amp I used. Alrighty guys, here is the pedal board I used for this gig. And I'm gonna put it on the floor to give you a better view and walk you through exactly how I used everything. All right, so this is my pedal board. It was set up by my friend here in Los Angeles, John Ong. He is amazing. So I'll put a link to his Instagram if anyone's located in the LA area and needs a setup. But basically um, what I'm using for this gig, I don't have it plugged in right now, but I, I just wanna walk you through it. It's going through this tuner. For this gig, I did not use a um, compressor. And then I ran it, this is a wah pedal. So I used this for the song Jump Ship my volume pedal and then it's running here this is what i used um this is like my light overdrive kind of like a tube screamer i love it those are my settings and then this is my more um distortion kind of thing and um i would use this for moving on and a couple other songs then we have our reverb and delay and basically when i'm operating here on the reverb i'm I'm mainly on the plate, and if I needed some type of ambient sound, I would use the hall setting. So you can see that would, I'm mainly on the um, the plate or sp spring reverb, and then I would use a hall to get like a big kind of warship sound. And then the timeline, I'm mainly just using dotted eighth notes for my lead solos. And I would just have those clicked on. And by the way, these are really, really nice and handy. Um, there just makes it it's easier to stomp on the actual pedal these other pedals i'll show you they don't um i didn't use it for this gig this is like a josh smith love 
love pedal. This is Josh Smith kind of like fuzz type thing, and this is a another fuzz pedal. And I, you know, for this that kind of gig, I didn't have to use it. So I'm mainly operating in this this world. And yeah, that's that's about um, that's about my setup for this pedal board. And it's just you know clean wah overdrive distortion reverb big reverb and then just some slight delay to give it texture all right and then finally i used my fender reverb deluxe reverb 65 reissue um and i actually have a i'm gonna show you i have a weber speaker in here it's a weber vintage series i don't know i installed this years ago but uh they actually gave me a Fender Twin for the gig, and I opted to use my amp because one, my amp has a lower headroom, so you're able to get, uh, I mean, I mean the Twin is one, I think, really, really a loud amp, especially for recording. It's hard to isolate that sound, and even this was hard to isolate the sound. Um, but I didn't use a Kemper, I didn't use an Axe FX or anything. I like the way real amps sound, and I want to do that as much as possible. And finally, I used, uh, I'm gonna show you the guitar I used for this gig. So here are a couple guitars, and I used this orange, or sorry, this yellow butterscotch LSL Telecaster. It's, uh, it's great. It's, it's a beautiful, the uh, LSL made this for me. It's amazing, and I love that it's got this push-pull, you know, so it splits, splits the, uh, goes from humbucker to single coil. And a three-way switch is absolutely ideal um, for this kind of gig. Basically, it's a Swiss Army knife. You can use it for anything. And yeah, boys and girls, that's kind of the rundown of my rig, my thought process of, you know, going through from inception of like, okay, how do I organize all these songs? Because a lot of times you'll get this music, like I think I get this music 36 hours before we had our first rehearsal. So you kind of got to um, store it in your brain pretty quick. And then lock in the sounds um and yeah i just want to put this video out for educational purposes for anyone that is curious interested any up-and-coming guitarists or guitarists that are already established um you know just to show you kind of how i'm thinking about it if anyone has you know any comments please leave it you know below if you have a better way to do things i would love love to hear how you organize or how you think about you know these kind of gigs but yeah, I thought this would be a really kind of fun little exercise of growing up. Um, there was not a lot of resources for how to figure this out. So I've had to figure out and my family didn't play music. So I had to figure out a lot of like music stuff myself, which a lot of people do. But I just want to put this type of content out so that anyone maybe that has, you know, not had a lot of experience with recording or gigging. Hopefully they find this useful, like a really, you know, kind of a little template, if you will to figure out how to do this kind of thing. So yeah, thank you guys so much. At the time that I'm recording this, um, the album, the Johnny and Molly album live in Los Angeles has not come out yet. Um, only one song has come out and that was Adulting. And so I heard that, it sounds great. Um, super, super happy to be a part of it. And like, it, yeah, it just, I've been listening to Jonathan for, for years. So I'm, you know, I was very, very, grateful and happy to be a part of this whole process and I'm excited to hear the whole album when it comes out in a few days okay all right everyone well take care and I uh, hope you have a great one if you found any of this information useful please you know leave a comment like and subscribe to my videos I'm going to be putting out a lot more content so thank you everyone all right take care